Danny Segura for MMA Junkie here in South Florida. I'm here with Derek Brunson. Derek, first of all, uh, how, how does it feel like to be here at Eagle FC 44 and experience the fights, you know, as a fan? You know, you're, you're not fighting. It's good. You know, they got a lot of high-profile guys, a lot of up-and-comers, you know, kind of the next generation. So it's good to see some of that talent, you know, firsthand. When you're watching fights as a fan, I mean, do you get the itch a little bit as a fighter? Yeah, I mean, I like to, when I'm watching as a fan, I like to sit back and just enjoy, you know, I, the loud thuds of the gloves and stuff like that, you know. So, yeah, it, it's a good thing for sure just to watch sometimes. Yeah. Also, man, you were supposed to fight against uh, Jared Cannonier at UFC 270, which just recently passed. The fight got moved to UFC 271. Um, what what happened? Why, why did they change that? Um, the UFC, I think they just wanted back up for the title fight in case somebody went down, got injured. They had two guys, uh, 85ers, three and four ranked guys that can jump in for a title shot. Yeah. So you're open to, if it comes down to it, like if, if somebody pulls out between Robert Whitaker and Israel Asanya, you're down to fill in if, if the opportunity arises? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, I, I've been waiting on the opportunity um, five in a row. You know, I've been waiting for that title shot. So, yeah, you know, if the opportunity come up, for sure. So I'm assuming you were stoked when the UFC, you know, brought this to the table. Well, I was more stoked because I got an extra week at home or extra 10 days at home with my kids before the, for the holidays, you know. So I was happy about that. So I, that's why I didn't cause a stink. I was like, cool, no big deal for me. Yeah. So you got to eat a, a little bit more, right? Right, yeah, man. You know, I got to eat some of that good cooking from the mom, hang out with the kids, you know, eat a little bit of things, desserts, you know what I mean, during the holidays. So, yeah, it was all good. And thoughts on, on Kananir? Obviously, he's a top guy. Um, you know, he did have some setbacks somewhat recently. Uh, what are your assessment overall as him as an opponent and his standing in the division? Um, I haven't watched too much of Kananir. I know he's like, you know, uh, a good striker, you know, big, powerful guy, you know, but I'm a well-rounded guy, you know. You got to bring a lot more of that to the table, you know. So my whole thing this training camp is just worried about myself and not let guys get lucky on me and just go out there and be a complete martial artist. And uh, you've been on a, quite a run, super impressive. Uh, what's been the secret, man? What's sort of been the, the click that has sort of uh, propelled you to this very impressive winning streak? It's the blonde Brunson, you know, the whole aura, you know? We don't, we don't lose, we're undefeated, you know? When you got the blonde vibe, everything is all good. So like, what does it does it improve your wrestling IQ? Like, what's what's the 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 meaning there? Well, everything, you know. I go out there and I'm a focused fighter, and I go out there and get the job done. Yeah. Um, Let's say nothing happens, no injury, the middleweight title fight stays intact. Um, you beat Jared Kananir. Is it is it almost uh, given that you're next? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, there's no secret. You know, three and four rank guy going at it, you know, on the same card as the title fight, you know, next up for the title shot, yeah. Who do you think wins between Whitaker and, and uh, Desanya in the rematch? That's a good question, you know. Um, I could see Whitaker winning, but if I had to pick, I'd probably say Izzy repeats and wins and keeps his title. You know both of them very well. Do you have a preference on, on what kind of loss you would uh, rather avenge? I just want to beat both of those guys, you know. I mean, I guess uh, Izzy's more the guy who with all the hype and everybody see him, see him as unbeatable, you know. So I like to go out there and finish a guy like Izzy. Lastly, uh, can we get a breakdown on the on the Brunson post? I mean, that, that thing's just been destroying, you know, online media. <laughs> yeah, man, you guys lift those shoulders up, put those lats out, and that's the Bron blonde Brunson pose. All right, Derek, well, I appreciate the time. Best of luck at UFC 271. Looking forward to your fight. Thank you. Thanks for having me.